Alexis Wilkins is one of the most proudly patriotic artists in country music today. She's worked with stars from Lee Greenwood to Sarah Evans, and she's also writing commentaries at Town Hall, The Daily Caller, and soon she's going to have her own show on Prager U, which is a big, big deal. Would you please give a big hand to the lady who refuses to be canceled, Alexis Wilkins? Good to have you here, Alexis. Thank you for having me. And I should tell everybody... You and I have something in common. We are both from Arkansas. Yes, you are sir. a Razorback fan as well. Grew up in Woo Fayetteville. Pig. Woo pig indeed. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to tell you, your songwriting ability is just masterful. Thank you. I, I, I listen to the things that you're doing. You did a song called Stand. It was one of your singles. And it was about standing up for the flag because you're a, such a supporter of our veterans. Yes, sir. Where did that inspiration come from? Was it all the crazy stuff where people refused to stand and acknowledge the country? Well, that, that certainly helps. Um, I work with an organization called Warrior Rounds where we work with veterans as songwriters and we write um, songs with them. And so that, was, that song was born out of um, the man who runs that, J.T. Mm. Cooper, who's an incredible man and veteran. If you haven't checked out Warrior Rounds, please do so. They're amazing. Um, but stand, yeah, it, it comes from all the craziness that was going on and also just the reverence that I think gets missed in the conversation, especially in, in my generation, in colleges nowadays. I mean, the list goes on. Y'all know how it is. Do, do you fear that taking the stand that you take through your music and in your writing, that people will say, I'm not going to listen to Alexis Wilkins because I don't like her point of view? You know, I don't fear because I think that the audience actually resonates more with people who are patriotic. I mean, I think that in general, even if you don't have the exact values, you kind of go, I'm sick of the political conversation, yeah. sick of the the really woke stuff that, that really, it takes the attention away from the actual art and the music and the creativity. In addition to the fact that I am, I am patriotic, there's no hiding it. And so I feel like the people who need to listen to the music and need to read the articles will be found. So you're, I'm not really worried about it. You're a phenomenal performer. Your voice is fantastic. Thank you. Most great performers, somebody else writes their stuff. You're writing this and it's mm -hmm. some of the most impressive material that I've seen in years. Thank you. And so, you know, I, I really hope people will connect and say, you know, this is a superstar in the making because she's writing it, she's performing it. And it's stuff that we can relate to. What, just quickly, what is the inspiration for your writing and, and the songs that you do? You know, Grit especially. I love John Wayne. And I thought that something my generation doesn't have is grit. You know, we don't see that anymore. I grew up on Westerns. I grew up, as I said, on <laughs> history. And you just don't see it in, in mass quantities anymore. And so when we went to write Grit um, and the songs surrounding it, you know, we have Country Back. Stan was a part of it as well. I just wanted it to feel, well, first and foremost, like the country music that I grew up on, that yeah. I love so much. And then I wanted the writing to represent things that I just needed more of. So we need more grit, we need more country back. And that's kind of where it is. I love starting with a title, but it's always different. And it's really just writing versions of stories and things that I've observed in a way that I think other people and country fans will, will also resonate with. Well, you have a gift and you're going to share it with us because while Alexis is getting set up to sing, we're going to let Keith Bilbrey tell the folks where to find out more about her music and how to get it, which you, I promise, will want to do. Be sure to look for her guest articles at townhall.com and The Daily Caller. To find Alexis' social media and to listen to her new EP, Grit, go to huckabee.tv. Now performing Country Back with Trey Corley and the Music City Connection with Mike on bass, here's Alexis Wilkins! Back when old school was mainstream, radio was always clean, people read their news and inks, steel guitar was on every Not locking your door The people did the right thing With no one around They looked at each other And found common ground From the music to the flag I ain't living in the past I'm just saying that Oh, I want my country back They flow glory down on Maine Everybody knows your first name Friday night, last football games 
church Taking things for what they're worth Say prayers, let them know Send one up for the one's not coming home The one's not coming home The American dream was a Cadillac And a red, white, and blue Showed them how you act Things you got, you were for You didn't think twice by not locking your door when people did the right thing with no one around They looked at each other and found common ground From the music to the flag, I ain't living in the past I'm just saying that, oh I want my country back Oh I want my country back American pride, American made Fiddles and steel played on FM Man, I just want that again When the American dream was a Cadillac And the red, white, and blue showed in how you act Things you got, you were for You did the thing twice about not locking your door If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.